to get all in your luggage and come home with you. Cockroach. Love to travel. Oh, yeah, they love to travel. Amen. <clears throat> so if you say that you have fellowship with God now, Still lying and stealing and cheating, mm -hmm. backbiting, hating, mm -hmm. then you lie. Mm -hmm. And what? And do not the truth. And do not the truth, but what? But if we walk in the light. But if now, if now, mm -hmm. we walk in the light, even as he is in the light, read. We have fellowship one then with another. Then we have fellowship one with another. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Yeah. And what? And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Turn over to Titus. Second chapter. A couple of so books to your left. Right behind Timothy, mm -hmm. you'll find Titus. Mm -hmm. 2 and 11 says what? Amen. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation... For the grace, mm -hmm. for the grace of God, mm -hmm. bring it, and you notice that ETH meaning it continuously bring salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what? Have appeared to And all it men. have appeared to not just some men, but it have appeared unto all men. You see, we go on YouTube today. Because YouTube is worldwide. And this message is going to whomever click on the link. <laughs> Amen. Thank you to Brother Howard there. He said, I think we ought to go YouTube. Amen. He said, well, get the message out. We got a few folks here, but you know what? That YouTube is worldwide. Amen. Amen. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared unto what? All oh, men. And listen to this, what it's doing. What is it doing? Teaching us that deny. Teaching us that we are what? To deny. Mm -hmm. What? Ungodliness. Ungodliness and what? And worldly lust. Ha! Huh? Got to surrender. Mm -hmm. Give it all up. Yeah. Forsake it all and then surrender totally to him. Yeah. God, I am giving myself to you. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it wholeheartedly. Yeah. Amen. Because mm -hmm. I know you're a jealous God. You don't believe in sharing mm -hmm. with the devil at all. Yeah. See, the devil's aim and object is to steal, kill, and destroy. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and then that you might have it more abundantly. Amen. The devil wants to take everything from you. God wants you to grow in grace. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Read. Teaching For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared unto all men, teaching us that denying, mm -hmm. constantly denying ungodliness and Worldly lusts, we should what? Live soberly. Live soberly, what? Righteously. Righteously, read. And godly. And godly, what? In this present world. Right now. 2009. Where everybody is looking to get away from God, we are telling you today we need to get back to God and surrender to him all. People love to hold on to things. Amen. People love to hold on to things. They collectors of junk. <laughs> Amen. A collector of junk. Amen. Why? Well, I'll just hold on to that. What good is it? I don't know, but I'll just hold on to it. Amen. There's some things you can hold on to that will help you somewhere along the line, but there's other things that just, what, what good is it? What good is your boyfriend in your new marriage? 
That's junk. Gonna cause you problem. Especially when your husband find out about it. Right. Amen. Surrender. Sake all others and then give yourself totally, solely to him. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly where in this present world. That's one thing I like about the scripture. It refers to today. Today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Listen, read. Looking for that blessed hope. Looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who did what? Gave himself he for us. He gave himself for us. That what? That he might redeem us from that all. That he might redeem us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Satan had his hands all over us. Mm -hmm. And Jesus came to redeem us and what? And purify himself. And then redeem us from all iniquity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. When I married my wife, I married her to take her out of the city. Amen. You know, they say some, some people, you can take them out of the country, but you can't take the country out of them. Amen. There's still going to be some country in there. Amen. But when Christ came and died, he came to deliver you and to rescue you from all iniquity. Amen. You ain't supposed to have nothing left in you when he get finishes purifying you. Amen. So when I took her out of the city, I took her out and away from, because see, that was her request of me, take me away. I said, amen, I'll take you away. Amen. amen. See, some people get fed up with certain things. That, that's what happens. See, what, what, what causes people to move to God is that they're fed up with sin. And once you get fed up with something, you will kick it to the curb. So kick sin to the curb. Amen. And give it all over to God. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Read. And purify unto himself a peculiar people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and then to purify unto himself a what? Peculiar people. Amen. Mm -hmm. Peculiar means very different. Mm -hmm. Not like the world. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why the church of God has a standard such as it has today that you might set yourself apart from the world. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. You're not supposed to look like the world, dress like the world, and then claim yourself to be of God. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Is it in the book? Amen. And some women still have a problem with this. But yet they're walking with God. Amen. They got a problem with it, but yet they're still claiming to walk. He's the head of my life. Now watch what God, the head of your life, has to say about this. Read. The woman should not wear that which pertains. Now he says, mm -hmm. wear. Mm -hmm. Wear that which doth what? Pertaineth unto a Pertaineth man. unto a man. Amen? Yes. How we doing, church? Yes. Now you say, well, what, 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 is, what is he talking about here? Pertain it to a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So he's talking about garments. Mm 